Hi guys, and welcome back to A Coffee Chat. I'm Dr. Boomer Brown with Doing Good at Work. Well, we're continuing our conversation around the components inside you. Me, you, everyone. There are five basic areas inside every human being. One of those areas is the physical area the mental area, the emotional area, the social area, and the spiritual area. Those are the five parts that we're looking at. And we're looking at these one a month, and every quarter we'll talk about the spiritual component. But today we're focusing on the mental component of you. This is the third time we've looked at this. And we've said the mental component is all about thinking. It's how your mind works. It's how you intake information, whether it's from intentionally intaking something like reading, watching a movie, listening to podcasts, having a conversation with someone, or it's unintentional. It's since birth, you've been gathering information and you've been storing it inside your mind and you think against that record. So today I wanted to take a look at the inside components, a simple diagram. The brain is very, complicated, but I'm trying to decomplicate it by drawing three circles. There's your conscious mind, your subconscious mind, and the third part is your creative subconscious. Now, this is kind of how this works. Anything on the outside that you perceive, you perceive something, you do that through your senses. You're a sensate individual. You feel something, you smell something, you taste something, you hear something that comes into your conscious mind and you've got to order it. You've got to make sense of it. So how do you do that? Well, as soon as you experience it, automatically you look at your subconscious mind. And what I want to show you is this. There's a record here on the subconscious mind, the record that you've been storing information from birth and everything you've ever experienced is on that record. So when you experience something from the outside world, you ask the question, have I ever seen anything like this? And you go to the subconscious mind and you find a record, you find something to make the association and it makes sense. And then you ask the simple question. This happens in a nanosecond. You know, do I want to participate within this? Do I want to let this in? Do I want to run? Do I want to stay? Do I want... Whatever the emotion is that comes out of that thought, is answered in that question and it comes back out to your conscious mind and you make a decision. You make a decision, okay? Last time we talked about the TFA process. You think, you feel, you act. There's always a trigger, okay? There's always a trigger, there's always a consequence. Now look, the triggers are what happens on the outside world. You need to understand what the triggers are. But you need to understand this too. How you're thinking is that you're looking at that record and whether it's bad or it's good, it's written on the record. And you will behave in accordance to that unless, unless you think something, feel something, and you stop and you engage the creative subconscious. The creative subconscious is the reprogrammer. You are programmed here but you can reprogram here. You can change your actions and the consequences by choosing to set up a new script. You actually choose intentionally to set up a new program, a new script. When something you experience on the outside world, a trigger happens, it comes in, you find the record. Instead of acting out of the record, negative or positive, you can go to the creative subconscious and begin to run the new script. When you run the new script, you override the bad outcomes and you start moving toward the new outcomes. I know that's a lot to think about today inside the little document that we sent you is a diagram of this that you can either print out, take a look at, but always remember this. At Doing Good at Work, we're here to help you. We're here to help you become better. If you need some help understanding this, if you want to talk to a mental health first responder, if you want to talk to me, all you have to do is just send an email to us and we'll set up an appointment with you to do just that. 
If you don't want to do the appointment, there's all kinds of resources that you can click and you can look through there and you can find information that can help you reprogram, rewrite the record so you can change the outcomes in your life. That's what we do at Doing Good at Work. And we do that because we care about you. Listen, thanks for stopping by for a chat this week. And as always, I look forward to seeing you on a coffee chat next week.